Okay, let's get buzzing. What's happening? Before Disney films its live action remake of The Little Mermaid, mm -hmm. ABC will be taking a crack at it with a live production starring Moana's actress, I believe her name is Auli Cravalho. I'm just saying, trying it. Auli Cravalho, right? Right? Anyway, and she'll be playing Ariel, but also the production is set to air on November the 5th and it stars our very own Queen Latifah, right? As Ursula, but guys, guess who is playing Sebastian? Uh-huh. Shaggy! Yep. Yes! Yes! Big up yourself, Shaggy. Can you imagine? I'm under the seat, I don't know. Anyway, the music will be from the original film, as um, the music will be from the original cartoon, as well as the Tony Award winning Broadway show. The cartoon is actually celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Little Mermaid is 30. Mm -hmm. Older than you? Yeah, a whole, whole, whole. A whole, whole, whole older than you. But you know, this is exciting news. I always thought um, Sebastian, growing up and watching the cartoon, I always thought Sebastian had like an accent, like a local Caribbean accent. No, but I was always like, what is his accent? Everyone's like, he's Jamaican. I'm like, no, yeah, he's yeah, not. Yes. He was not. So I think Shaggy is like really, really, really yeah. super, super appropriate. Ariel? For that. <laughs> what would be cool is if, right? I don't know if you guys saw like when, um, what's her name, when Holly was announced as Ar to play Ariel in the live action, right. um, Oliver Samuels did an audition to play Sebastian. But I think and Oliver would, be would have been cool. good though. No, that's the thing about because I don't actually sound like him. But that's cool. I, I, think, I think Oliver, you know, Oliver um, would be cool. Yeah, and man. I think Oliver does have the mannerisms of, um, Sebastian, of Sebastian though. Yeah. Ariel? You can't see <laughs> You can't see Oliver. I can see it. I can see it. I can definitely anyway, see it. Um, congratulations. I'm really excited. Yeah, man. That I'm November, looking forward to that. When it airs, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And, and, and um, Team Melanin. I'm just saying. Amen. All right. So after a very, well, a year's hiatus, mm -hmm. Rihanna blessed the entire Barbados with her presence at the 2019 Crop Over Carnival. And naturally, she did it in grand fashion. Now, celebrating the 200-year tradition that marks the end of the sugarcane season, the Bayesian beauty glowed again in her very hometown on Monday, wearing a remarkable pink ensemble. Mm -hmm. Styled by Jaleel Weaver, Rihanna's custom pink mini dress created by designer David Lapore. Lapore, I hope I got that. Lapore. Yes. Featured some seriously Venetian products that were. Voluminous people. Uh -huh. Feathers, <laughs> which were made of real ostrich feathers dyed in various shades Rail. of pink. I don't know where the National Environmental Protection people were, but I think that's. One thing with Rihanna, I always go home. She's always there. She's always celebrating. She's just a, a model icon that I think, you know, anybody else trying to reach here, whether it's that you're doing music or sports or whatever, but culturally, she's very much invested in there. Yeah. The tourism, she, she, she has been an, an ambassador for years now. Yeah. Uh, she's always giving back yeah. to the country, the and development. I, I will say as well, just for me, line. with regards to Rihanna, as a woman, like she was in an interview and they were asking her certain questions and Rihanna is very much like, um, why would you ask me that? Mm -hmm. She's very strong. She's a strong woman. Yeah, she so is. I, I like the fact that people are calling her an icon even though she's she is. Like so young. And, I like her. Big up to Rihanna. Yeah, and no matter how far she, you know, uh, she progresses in, in her career, she's, she's always, always Beijing back first. home. And Caribbean too, because she's always over here. She came over here for the thing that uh, event, Buju, 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 She was. Mm -hmm. She's always a part of it. I love that. She's real. She's a real one, yeah. as we say. But that's cool. I'm down with it. But what? they're still waiting on, their Navy still waiting. Any Rihanna Navy fans here? Your guys Is it are called the Navy? Navy? They're called the Navy. Obviously they're, they're, there's none here because they're like, who? The water? Yeah, yeah, the no, 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 no Rihanna fan in the, the audience water? today. But it's alright guys, we'll, we'll tell you some more. They have been waiting on an album, so I guess she needs to update yes. them on that. Speaking of the Melanin, Team Melanin, guys. Wesley Snipes has joined Eddie Murphy in Coming to America. It's called Coming to America, as in the sequel. Anyway, so that's Paramount. It's obviously the sequel to the comic that was released in 1988, right? So the original film saw Murphy play Prince Akeem, a spoiled prince, from the fictional African nature, well, we thought it was fictional, um, Zamunda. But now we know it was actually Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? So, you get it? You get it? Mm -hmm. Joe, you get it? No, you're my He's not getting it. <laughs> anyway, he arrives in Queens in New York and in undercover fashion gets a job at a McDonald's knockoff while trying to find a wife. The new story, however, seems, sees Akeem returning to America in order to find his long lost son. Mm -hmm. oh, Arsenio Hall is already on board to reprise his role as Akeem's best friend. Now Snipes will play a new character called General Izzy, a man who rules a neighboring nation, but also joining the cast, surprisingly enough, is rapper Rick Ross. And returning as the king will be 
the one and only Mr. James Earl Jones. Uh-huh. You guys are like, who? A whim. <laughs> you know, um, production actually is going to start in the fall. Yeah. Right. So, you know, um, James Earl Jones is Simba. First of all, you have forgotten, like, huh? just by reading this story, I'm actually going to watch Coming to America, the first, first one, because I've never seen that before. Um, because the storyline is actually really cool, so I'll check that out. I know Nisha and you've you seen it before. You are so wackalish, you're wack I know, I know. This is like, you know, okay, let me tell you what this is. I Guys, know. back in the day, there was a time Can't that you'd remember. rarely see any black people on TV, right? Anything, especially talking about culture, mm -hmm. anything, they have this great African scene and this amazing dance number, yeah. and, and it, it was amazing. So at the time, seeing that as a little, little girl growing up, it was like, yeah, black people, black women, dark skin, you know, so you know what I'm saying? I'm going to see so it. So I can't believe you haven't seen I'm it, Joel. See it. So I can see part two. That makes sense from it. All right, All right. so we have some shout outs, of course, we're going to throw over to our audience. If you have anybody to big up, daytime, daytime shout, shout outs. Out. My favorite segment. Yes. Okay, so we have one right there. Oh, he's ready yes. to go. <laughs> Hello there. Yes, Who's sir. Your shout out? Name where you're from and who you're shouting out. Um, hi, my name is Deshaun Miller. I'm from Alice Selassie High School. All right. And I would like to shout out my mother, Michelle Hillman. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Mommy. And um, Kamisa Flim from my office. Uh -huh. And Javin. Okay. All right. Yes. Which part Javin come from, though? My office, Jamaica Civil Service, See, Mutual Justice Society. Yeah, but you need to pick up everybody. Right. Let's see. What about me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> who else? Who else? Who else? Let's move. move the, oh, okay. Oh, I have another Don't shout out. And she's ready to go too. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi everyone. Hi. My name is Cheryl. They call me Simo. I'm from Knox College. I'm with Tunisia. Hey. Hey. Tunisia. Yes, so we just want to shout out all the Knox College family. Uh -huh. Special big up to my mom, my son, Mr. Board, big up yourself, Trudy. Oh, yes. energy. And I want to send a special shout out to my sister Chantal and my grandmother Grace. Big up. Awesome. Hi, Grace. Yes, all Knox College yes. family. Big up yourself. All yes, right. You are so beautiful. Lovely. I love the smile. We have time for one more. Anybody else want to give us? Yes, yes, we have oh, one pass, coming pass in. Pass the mic for me. Pass it down. Hola, <laughs> <laughs> who, who want big up Ronde? <laughs> <laughs> He's been dancing all day. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, Michael Forrest, Haile Selassie High School tutor. I'd like to use the opportunity to send a big recognition and respect to all the youths on the corner of Anthony Road, Russell Road, Waltham Park Road, Maxwell yeah. Park, all the areas I have to walk through who admire this program about conquering Shakespeare and all the people who helped to get Haile Selassie High School into this country. Highly, ever living, ever sure. Yes, and we're, and we're going we're going here. Yeah, man, and we're going here some more. They have a library there. We're going here some more um, further down. But of course, um, we have our shout outs. I have a shout out. I have enough. My daughter Bailey Marie Jones turns 15 years old on Monday. So I wanted to shout out to my heart, outside of my body. I know. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. She's starting, so she's going to hold it. Gonna All right. It. Shout happy out. birthday, Bailey, on Monday. Love you. And happy birthday in advance, Bailey, or a little bubble of sunshine. All right. <laughs> Shout out going out to Mama Birdie. She's listening right now Hi, on Mama her Birdie. 84th birthday. Yes. What a blessing. Love you coming from our very own Vinny right here in studio. Um, so I was on Instagram Live before coming on the show. Look here. Check out on the phone for Star Records so I can repost. Three, two, one. Ready? Shout out to Amy from UCC, Donny and Dante from St. Thomas, Shay from Maypin. Shay actually lives several places. We could just put Maypin. Okina from Spanish Town, Kevin from St. Anne, and Davel, and face it with Sarah. Big up on yourself. Yeah, that's it for Daytime Live. Shout out. Daytime Live will be right back. Yes, um, with Tony Sewell and Paul Bucknell. Join us after the break. More Daytime Live.